What's going on internet, Dato Doya here with a match analysis for Dragon Ball Fighters. If you want to watch the video we'll be analyzing today without my commentary, you can go over to YouTube channel page RNK Squad. The video is titled Epic Match, and really guys, go over there, give them a like, because this match is insane. Before we go into the match though, I do want to talk about their teams. If this part doesn't interest you, I understand, that's totally cool. Just jump ahead to this time that's on your screen. Uh, no worries, we'll get right into the combo soon enough. Right away, we're going to take a look on the team on the left side of your screen with user over RNK playing Goku, Frieza, and Trunks. While Goku is his point character, I think it's more important we take a look at who he's using as his assist, as he's going to be using them in combos throughout the match. So Frieza has an amazing assist, super long range, knocks him up into the air for lots of combos. And Trunks also does something similar. He comes out on the ground and provides like a mid-air knockup. You'll see it in the match. Trunks also has a lot of uses as a pivot character for coming in, doing a lot of damage quickly, and then switching out to somebody you think could handle the situation you're dealing with better. So Frieza obviously is more for cases that are long range, and Goku is probably for cases that are more medium to close range. On the right side of the screen, we have user Sylvius with Android 18, Piccolo, and Trunks. This is a team I didn't see a lot in all the matches I've watched so far, or in the beta when I played, but this guy makes this team look ridiculous. Android 18 has a super good super that you're going to want to DHC into a lot. Uh, Piccolo also, he uses the, this guy uses the hell zone grenade as like a lockdown technique and a combo extender. It's amazing what this guy does. There's one combo in the video that shows off everything I'm talking about and more. And Trunks again is just an amazing pivot character. Uh, he do, comes in, does a lot of damage, has, he has two amazing supers with the form of heat dome attack. So you can pick him off the ground, throw him in the air. And he also has burning attack for when you need to DHC into something a little more long range. And it really comes in handy at getting a little bit more bonus damage. Now that I've finished my college thesis on their character choices, we can finally go into the match, which I know you've all been waiting for. And right off the back here, we're going to see as soon as the game starts, neither of these players use their homing dash. This is probably because it's early on in the game's life. It's, it's the most obvious choice. It gets you in right away. But it's also super punishable if they know it's coming. Both players opt to jump back and throw a key blast to create space. I'm not sure if either of these options would have beaten the homing dash, but... It would have definitely beaten an approach on the ground through either a dash in or an air dash. So I think it was a good choice by both of them. And it puts the game into this state of neutral where they're both at the far ends of the screen. So we're going to have to see who has the better zoning characters. Uh, obviously, the choice for me would probably be over RNK with Freeze on his team, but we'll see what happens. So we're seeing air dashes in. Goku lands a combo, jumps up, and you're going to see Trunks come in from the back and extend the combo farther as Goku spikes him into his uh, blast. This allows Goku to get Android 18 into the corner, which he doesn't make use of, but he tried to get the Frieza assist there. I see what he was going for. Android 18 then responds by uh, using 17 to have air pressure and extend her combos. Using uh, uh, Piccolo as an assist extender. Now we're going to see Android 18 try to play the game. Oh, gets an air dash, which was a cross up there, probably, that Goku was just not ready to block. Frieza finally comes in. We're going to see his energy ball. Well, we're going to see the first DHC of the match, Trunks. This is for those long-range scenarios to get that bit of extra damage in. This guy switches out to preserve Android 18's life, which is a good thing, because later in the match you see how much this guy relies on Android 18 for combos. There we see again the power of um, Trunks combined with Frieza's assist as Trunks is able to go for the sword slice in the air because Frieza's assist was able to knock him up. Really good stuff. Silius going for the vanish attack after the thing. Then continuing the combo. Pretty sick. Calls in Piccolo. Unfortunately gets hit by Trunks. Once again we see the Frieza assist. This time no follow up from over RNK. I'm not sure how the corner affects that combo but he didn't opt to go for it there. But here we see the Heat Dome attack which picks him up off the ground. Gets a bit more damage in there. Pushing Piccolo into the realm of uh, probably wanting to switch out. But instead he opts to go for the smash and hits Trunks coming in for the air dash. And here we're going to see it. A special beam cannon. And you're going to see how important Android 18's super here is to DHC into. It allows him to get a lot of damage while also uh, making sure he keeps his positioning. And he's ready to react. Frieza's going to show off his zoning here with his death slicers. Got to make sure to duck because they do come back. Uh, unblockable, so he probably has to jump or duck him. Alright, so we're back in neutral here. Both characters blocking, but he gets a death ball off. Uh, forgets to duck when he goes for the slide. 
Got hit by an overhead. Another one and a Kamehameha. Ooh, this guy this guy's getting eaten alive by Death Saucers here. But lands a smash attack and on Goku, so we're gonna see a lot of damage here on both of them. Go gets the slice and that's Goku out of the game there. So Goku did not do a lot other than at the beginning. But this combo is ridiculous. Look at the health that Frieza's taken off. Uh, unfortunately, he does land the death ball and takes out Trunks. And Piccolo also gets uh, some damage done to him there. Not a lot, but he he's at seven, like 65% health. Trunks lands in a, another combo. And but look, right here he misses the sword. This is going to cost him. This guy has been practicing with Piccolo. Lands an amazing combo. Extends it in the air. Uses the Hellzone Grenade as a pickup. Calls in Android 18 for the DHC Super. And then as the Hellzone Grenade picks him up, goes into level 3. And I, that was the... Uh, I don't know. Speechless. That combo was insane. It doesn't kill. Kind of ridiculous that it doesn't kill, but also I really like the pace that Dragon Ball Fighters moves at right now. So I'm not sure if I want them to change the scaling, but it's definitely something to take into consideration. So now we see just a lone Piccolo here, so he's going to want to burst soon uh, when he takes enough damage. Uh, Frieza is still alive, and I want to talk about how important... Look at this. Frieza tries to use his Key Blast, but Piccolo just eats it up, so that provides a lot of pressure. You can Super Dash to get rid of that, but as I said, that's extremely obvious that you're going to want to do that because it's just a simple, like, get out of jail free card. So if he punishes that, you're you're just gone. Frieza would have been, I think he definitely would have been killed at that point, but here we're going to see DHC into Heat Dome Attack, an amazing combo. Doesn't kill Piccolo though, so we're just going to see as he gets up, get off of him, he bursts. But we see a burst get off, resets it back to neutral, where Trunks definitely has the advantage over Piccolo. He created a fireball there, but Frieza took it out with the assist, and that's it. After that, after that fireball got taken out, you could see Piccolo was a little shaken up. He didn't know whether to go for another fireball or not. I think it would have been the better option, but he got hit by the Frieza assist too soon and just set him up for failure. All right, guys, so thanks for watching the match analysis. Hopefully you learned something, or maybe you just had fun watching the combos. Again, please go back to user RNK's channel and make sure you give him a like because this match was absolutely insane. Really showed off the potential for high-level play in this game. And yeah, guys, thanks.